Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So Libra, this is your reading for the last week of December 2020. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, only what doesn't, and energies might be vice versa, okay? All right, Libra, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading, okay? All right. <clears throat> So Libra, what is going on with you? Libra, what is going on with you? Spirits, tell me what is going on with Libra. Spirits, tell me what is going on with Libra. Spirits, tell me what is going on with Libra. Spirits, tell me what is going on with Libra. Spirits, tell me what is going on with Libra. Spirits, tell me what is going on with Libra. Spirits, tell me what is going on with Libra. Let me cut the deck. Bottom of the deck, we have Ten of Wands. First card, King of Pentacles. <coughs> Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords, and bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands, okay? Huh. So I see all the signs over here. You may be dealing with... Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? So Libra, you may be dealing with someone who who showed you a carrot, okay? Who tried to portray a, a very big picture about this, uh, you know, big picture in front of you. They, they were like, uh, probably they tried to tell you that they are the one. Who can fulfill all of your dreams or they are the one who can complete or fulfill the void that has been created uh, in your life so they will give you the required love they will care for you they will nurture you okay but this was someone whose words and actions did not match okay they said something else they did something else this was someone who once you turned your back they did something else behind your back Probably this person was going around with many, many people. Like, okay, so you are one of them. And that's how they usually deal with people. That is the way of dealing with people. Uh, this, this, you know, uh, what I'm feeling over here is Libra. Uh, you got into relationship with this person because you were just getting out of your earlier relationship where you had broken your heart. And this person was a transition boyfriend or a girlfriend of yours. Okay. When I mean by transition boyfriend or a girlfriend, I mean that, you know, you got into a next relationship because you wanted to forget the earlier relationship. In between period, uh, you were yet to heal yourself completely. Before you could heal yourself, this person popped up in your life and they you people got into a relationship or they lured you in the relationship they lured you to uh, like you know uh, kind of magnetically they influenced you and pulled you towards them to get into some sort of a relationship they could sense that there is a void in your life that you are feeling the void of love the uh, you know there are there are there is a void in respect of other areas in your life and they played on that Okay, they played on that. They were like, yeah, I'm the one for you. I'll give you the required love and care and, you know, or some of you may be having certain dreams and this person may be a boss of yours. And this person was, or someone, uh, someone senior in the hierarchy, if not a boss. And this person showed that, yes, I'm the one I can fulfill your dreams. Okay. But like I told you, the words and the actions did not match and uh, you realized it quickly you realized it pretty soon and you were very much genuine with your intentions okay even if you got into this relationship because of you know transition boyfriend or a girlfriend 
you didn't get into this relationship purposefully because you wanted to forget the earlier re- relationship when i say that when i'm using the words or the terminology is like transition boyfriend and the girlfriend i mean that uh before healing yourself completely things happened too quickly in your life okay and then you thought that probably the next relationship will help you heal so uh so you you were quite uh, you were there in this relationship you were fully committed to this person you loved them you nurtured them you gave everything that you could give to this person or to this relationship but you quickly realized that uh, this person is not what they are talking about okay this this person is something else <laughs> maybe a fraud or something okay so uh uh like you know this person may have also shown you that uh, you know i'll help you out with money and you need to sleep with me or something like that they they manipulated you emotionally okay that's what i'm hearing they manipulated you emotionally big time this person whoever you're dealing with this person is very good with their words okay a very good communicator so you realized it quickly that whatever is happening is not good and you need to move on you need to move on to save yourself from any kind of a further damage and you need to find someone better for you you need to find someone better for you but before you could find someone better for yourself you need to drop the burden of the previous relationships when i mean that you need to drop the burden i mean that you need to heal yourself that is what you have realized okay if you do not drop the burden this is waiting for you again so better heal yourself first okay uh heal yourself first realize okay it it is very good to work on yourself okay it is very good to key uh, make yourself happy first okay it is very good to respect yourself first okay it is very good to respect your own needs first okay so you have realized that and that's what you're doing you are getting into power baby okay you are becoming the queen of swords okay so you are becoming self aware about your needs about your wants you are not ready to uh, take any kind of a bs from anyone's not uh, in the mood to entertain any kind of nonsense from anyone's you are ready to show your sword when i mean by sword i mean you are ready to show your boundaries okay and you are working on yourself uh, i i am also hearing that you are working on your finances on your career and you are reaching a good position okay some of you are working very hard libras are known for like you know you people are very hard working people i know i have so many libras in my life i have so many scorpios in my life and i know that they are so freaking hard working people okay you people are damn hard working people and you earn whatever you earn in your life it is because of your hard work okay you you like you do this uh, like this thing so dedicatedly in your life okay you you are very hard working people i know that for sure and because of that hard work and your determination and your perseverance you people are going to reach uh, you know you people usually reach the top so libra what is going on with you libra what is going on with you people what is going on with libra 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 spirits tell me all right bottom of the deck we have six of cups hmm. queen of swords oh my god we have queen of swords twice are you kidding me you are getting into your power baby death then we have seven of swords then we have hermit we have two of pentacles we have two of swords interesting and six of cups 
with that six of cups what i'm feeling is i'm getting a feel that uh, your past life soulmate uh someone from your past life another soulmate uh, of your past life is on the way okay but before that you need to put certain things to rest okay you know that you are in power so if ever whenever this uh, king of pentacles this person past person of yours comes back you know what they have done with you this they try to manipulate you they were very deceptive they probably lied and cheated a lot okay their words and actions do not match keep that in mind the words and actions do not match okay so yeah you may be in two minds if this person uh makes another attempt to come back because they will use the same tactic okay they will use to use their words okay they will they will they will uh, use the words and their choice of words are very powerful let me tell you that the kind of words and the choice of words they make when they are trying to communicate something they are very very powerful and they know how to change someone's mind with the uh, with the kind of words they are going to use i saw 11 11 okay so probably a twin flame of yours is on the way a twin flame and a soulmate okay we also have two two so uh yeah so this person may come back may make an attempt to come back uh, they may use the same tactics that they used in the past and they may put you in this uh, state of confusion all over again like what i need to do what i need to do i don't know i'm getting pulled in two different directions it's a yes and it's a no it's a yes and it's a no they will try to use they will try to manipulate you in this condition okay so be careful but i think so you are not going to entertain them i think so you are not going to entertain them because you have already done lot of work on yourself there is lot of self introspection and lot of work on yourself uh, that you have done in the uh, during the period of separation and you know now what you want okay you know what you want and most likely what i see is you are going to put an end to this past relationship okay previous relationship and uh, once you do that once you do that then your past life soulmate is on the way baby look for some of you this new soulmate or this new twin flame which is going to come this is going to be the one for you you will get married to this guy okay to this new person i'm saying okay all right libra i hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye